Okay, in this problem, Mark's cats eat 72 ounces of food in one week. How many pounds of food do Mark's cats eat in one week? So they tell us that um, every time you have 16 ounces, you have one pound. So that's a ratio, I'm gonna use that. One pound, right, for every 16 ounces. I'm gonna write it like this because uh, I think that when I look at this as a ratio, it's a little bit easier for me to deal with. And then that is the same thing as some amount of pounds. We don't know how many yet. When we have 72 ounces, and I said the same thing because it's always true that 16 ounces is one pound. And so if we had, for example, 32 ounces, we would have to have double the pounds, right? We would have to have two pounds. Well, that's interesting. Two pounds. And that is the same thing. Why? Because, well, if you think of fractions, 32 over 2 is the same thing as 16 over 1. If I take 32 and divide it by 2, I get 16. If I take 16 and divide it by 1, I get 16. It's the same thing. They're equivalent ratios. So this ratio right here, whatever numbers we use, ultimately, if I divide this number by x, I should still get the same thing as I did in every other equivalent ratio, which is 16. So one thing that you can see here is that, well, first we had 16 ounces, now we have 72. So what happened? Well. How many times greater is 72 than 16? I'm going to use division to find that out. 72 divided by 16. And I know that 16 does not go into 72 an even amount of times, but I do know that 16 times 4 is 64. And I, 16 times 5 is 80, so the most that 16 goes into 72 evenly is 4 times. I don't know why I wrote 64, I'm sorry. And there's a remainder of what? Well, 16 times 4 equals 64, and we had to get to 72, so 72 minus 64 is 8. So there's still 8 left over, so it's 16 goes into 72 four times with a remainder of 8 out of 16. Again, the goal is to find how many 16s go in this number. Well, four of them go into 72, and there's 8 out of a 16 left over, or half of a 16, which is 4 and 1 half. So that means what? Well, it means that 16 ounces was multiplied by four and a half to get 72 ounces. So that means we have four and a half groups of 16 ounces and each group is one pound. So one pound times 4.5, that's four and a half pounds. And that makes sense, right? Every group of 16 ounces gave us one pound. So if we have four and a half groups of 16 ounces, we have four and a half pounds. And the answer here is H. All right, hope that helps.